Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about managing linked spreadsheets. The idea is to be able to take advantage of an enterprise content management solution and still take full advantage of your linked spreadsheets. Now, you're probably wondering, should I be watching this video? So here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. Do you work with spreadsheets that are linked to other spreadsheets? Do you edit spreadsheets that feed or are linked to a spreadsheet being worked on by another person? So in other words, is there somebody somewhere else working on a spreadsheet, doing their edits, and it is feeding your spreadsheet, so your spreadsheet links to that other spreadsheet that this other person is working on? Would you like the ability to work with linked spreadsheets and still be able to take advantage of a true enterprise document management solution? Is this similar to the way you work? So, in this example, we've got a user in New York, one in San Francisco, and another one in London. All three are working on their own individual spreadsheets, and each one of these spreadsheets is linked to each other via Excel links. So they're able to independently work on their spreadsheet, and a user can go off and update their links by virtue of reaching into the repository automatically. So you're able to have collaboration in the sense that all three spreadsheets are linked together via Excel linking, and they can work, users can work independently, and by updating links, they get that new data. So, if some of these features are the kinds of things you're looking for, well, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in Microsoft Excel, and as you can see, we have three files open. This first one here is our Q1 data spreadsheet, the data for Q1. Over here we have our Q2 data spreadsheet, the data for Q2. And up here, this spreadsheet is linked to the two data spreadsheets. So if I click on this cell here for Q1234, that value is coming from a link from the Alfresco repository. There's a file inside the models folder called sales spreadsheet data Q1, and of course the actual cell involved. So as I click down the column, you'll notice that the spreadsheet cells change. And that of course is links to our Q1 spreadsheet. Here in Q2, this link again into the Alfresco repository, but this is going into the pricing folder. All right, different spreadsheet called Q data 2. All right, so this is the Q2 data, and of course if I travel down this column, you will see this sales change as well. So this is going to our spreadsheet in the pricing folder, this to our models folder. So our Q1 spreadsheet, let's make some quick changes. And I'll save this back into the repository, save to Alfresco. Now I'm going to keep the spreadsheet open because I want to continue to work on it, so I'm going to say keep lock, and then I'll hit save. And the idea is I'm sending a version of the spreadsheet, saving it back into the repository, and now that it's back into the repository, this link can be updated. So I go to edit links, here's Q1 data, the data for Q1, and if you watch the Q1 column when I hit update values, it updates all the links, and that's of course from the spreadsheet that was saved back into the repository. Same premise over here for Q2, if I update this spreadsheet real quick, And I'll save this file, save to Alfresco. And I'm going to keep the lock open here as well, because I'm going to do some more work on the spreadsheet. But again, I'm saving it back into the repository. The moment I've done that, now I can go back to my links here, and I can update the links. So people can be working on the spreadsheets anywhere. Once they save it back in, it'll automatically then allow them to update the links. Now, of course, I've done this with these spreadsheets open. They don't need to be. I'll go off and do one more change real quick. And I'll save and close this one. File, save. And I'll just save my spreadsheet. And the same thing over here. Save to Alfresco. And I'm just going to save this spreadsheet. Now, if you remember, the Q2, we made some changes, so I can go to my edit links, and I can click that, and then hit update values, and you watch Q2, it changes the values. So as you can see, you can maintain those links from the location sitting in the repository. That way, other people can be working on the spreadsheet, and all they do is save that version back to the repository, and you can update the links. No more concerns about having to know where the spreadsheet is open in order to ensure those links are updated. So what did we see? 
Well, we saw the ability to update linked spreadsheets without opening up the source document. We saw the ability to have linked spreadsheets opened and not rely on the links finding the open spreadsheet. In other words, if I'm looking at a document and I'm editing it and so forth, and somebody else opens the document that's linked to mine, I don't need to know where that document is because remember, my links are back to the source repository. So different people can open it, work on it. Once they push their data back, I can automatically update my links. Therefore, I don't worry about where they've updated or stored their documents where they brought it down to work on them. And of course, the ability to control when links are updated. So I hope you enjoy this presentation, and feel free to reach out to us so we can help you like we help our other clients.